was amazing. Short and sweet, but you will <laughs> sing for us again later on. I will. Um, what does this wonderful piece, Messiah, mean to you? Well, I mean, it does mean Christmas, doesn't it? It's the piece that you perform the most around Christmas time. It has all those kind of favourite tunes like Glory to God, obviously the Hallelujah Chorus. But then it also means so much more. I mean, all the three sections have very different liturgical meanings. And I think my personal favourite is actually the Easter section. So it's just, it's such a wonderful piece. It's a joy to sing in the highs and the lows. Do you remember your first performance? I remember my first rehearsal. I'd heard it many times. My mother sang it in choral societies, and I've heard it, of course. And I turned up to sing it with a Swansea Bar Choir on a Saturday morning and got presented with these dots that make up for Unto Us a Child is Born and I couldn't believe how hard it was. I mean, that is not an easy piece to sing and yet it's, it's kind of standard choral repertoire here in Britain so it's pretty impressive. This lot think it's easy, don't yeah. they? <laughs> Mixed reaction, yeah, I think. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> any fond memories of performing the piece? Many, many. I mean, I've, I think I've done so many, it's hard to tell. But one of my particular favourites was being in Madrid. And uh, just before the very last Amen, oh, Amen, on what is definitely not a finished chord, they burst into applause. And then we had to sheepishly go, oh, Amen. <laughs> it's finished now. <laughs> and I remember thinking, do you not know your handle? But I guess they didn't. <laughs> uh, what are you going to sing for us now? Uh, this is He Shall Feed His Flock Like a Shepherd. Uh, it's known for being a duet in the most well-known version, but it, there was also a version written for soprano throughout. Uh, so this is one of my very favourite tunes. It's still got that pastoral feeling, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Fancy you, the soprano, wanting to take centre stage. <laughs> that never happens, does it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Aileen Manahan-Thomas. <laughs> 